I couldn't take that. And I was going to say, no. as they should. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> How generous of the cruise line. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. Um, but uh, Mother Nature is being pretty generous to us. Smooth right? sailing, mm -hmm. Jackie. <laughs> uh, yeah. So the wind's finally dying down. Uh, we've got these summer like temperatures. Yeah. You guys could have called me, by the way. Oh, I know. Well, <laughs> didn't. Both wearing I yellow. thought we did, Jay. You know, Paul, I mean, it's sunny. <laughs> we're yellow. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but we're taking a live look outside. Uh, we're seeing yellow. We're seeing orange. Beautiful colors as that sun sets on this Monday. So I know a lot of folks recovering <laughs> after Super Bowl Sunday. At least we've got some nice weather. No headaches out there for weather wise. Uh, but we do have some strong winds that are finally starting to die down. That is the good news. If you don't like the heat, I've got some bad news for you. It is here for a while. So let's talk about the record from today. We blew the old record of 85 degrees back in 1996, 88 for our high downtown. Our normal high is 20 degrees cooler than that. So that just gives you an idea how hot it is. And these warm temperatures, look at this 84 in Oxnard, 79 in Van Nuys in downtown, 83 in Santa Ana, 80 in Riverside. So again, the heat is just on. And take a look at these winds. Gusting up to 27 miles an hour in Santa Clarita. Again, these winds are down from earlier today. This morning they were at their worst. So the red flag warning will be canceled 6 p.m. tonight. However, wind advisories will stay in effect for the mountains of LA and Ventura counties through tomorrow. That's how long it will be staying on the breezy side. We're taking a look at the satellite picture. We do have mostly clear skies out there. The reason for the beautiful weather, big ridge of high pressure in place, bringing us that offshore flow. So again, that is why it's so hot and dry and, of course, windy. Uh, whenever we have the offshore flow, temperatures eventually will heat up as we head to the coast. So coastal areas wind up being warmer than the interior areas. Uh, so the winds gusting up to 55 miles an hour time, sustained 25 to 35 miles an hour, all from this ridge of high pressure. But it will start to break down eventually. So we will eventually start to cool things down. Uh, but temperatures remain above average into the extended period. Highs tomorrow, some areas will even get to the 90s. Uh, so again, it will be a scorcher out there, 80s from the beaches inland Wednesday. Thursday, still warm. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Look at that, just above average temperatures even into next week. We are in a stretch here with some summer like weather. Oh, that's amazing. It yeah. is. You have to go to that uh, chest where you keep your. I'm joking. Yellow just tomorrow? Like summer clothes. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yellow tomorrow? Not two days no. in a row. Oh. You should wear yeah. yellow. Yeah. All you got a yellow suit. His yellow board shorts yeah. are, <laughs> board shorts are <laughs> on here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, thanks, Jackie.